Morning. A new bill introduced today aims to take on a big task, saving Utah's most well-known body of water, the Great Salt Lake. This past year, its water levels dropped to the lowest they've been in 170 years. ABC 4's Northern Utah correspondent Kate Garner telling us how the bill would work if it gets passed. The Great Salt Lake is in a serious crisis that is impacting all Utahns, the $1.3 billion economy, and 330 species of migratory birds. Zachary Frankel with Utah Rivers Council explains that a new bill sponsored by Utah Representative Douglas Sagers aims to increase the lake's water levels, in part by charging secondary water suppliers and property tax exempt institutions for the water they use. These fees go to the Division of Forestry, Fire and Sovereign Lands, and they can use that money to buy water rates. And that water is then sent to the lake. So why save the Great Salt Lake? Well, researchers at Weber State University say there are many reasons, but one of the biggest is climate change. They say as the water level continues to drop, communities along the Wasatch Front will see an increase in air pollution from dust and a decrease in rainfall and snowfall. Frankel says Utah has some of the highest municipal water use in the country. This because property taxes keep water rates low. He says if institutions pay for the water they use rather than the taxpayer, it should make institutions more conscientious of water use. This bill is the only framework being offered today to offer a substantive way to protect the future of the Great Salt Lake for everyone. From the Great Salt Lake, Cade Garner, ABC4 News. All right, thank you, Cade. If passed, this bill would also prevent state properties from having non-functional turf, which is grass that is used for curb appeal. The bill has a tiered response plan according to lake levels. Now you can find the bill on our website, abc4.com.